Hey folks, this is John over at Top Cat Mulchers. Uh, John at TopCatMulchers.com. Hey, this is going to be a pretty quick video. Uh, the reason I wanted to make it is I've, I've continued to notice that uh, out on most of the auction sites uh, that uh, folks who are bidding on the Top Cat Mulcher, uh, I, I think they're paying too much. And I'm going to show you why. Uh, the, uh, these mulchers, I see them out on uh, auctions, particularly Ritchie Brothers, that's particularly one I, I follow, uh, Machino, um, Iron Planet, um, Machinery Traders. I, I kind of watch those, but most of them tend to come back to Ritchie Brothers, so I just watch the Ritchie Brothers site. But I'll tell you, I see these mulchers. They're, uh, the bids are getting pushed up pretty high. I see them go for 14000 15,000, 16, I saw one go for 18,000, and I just want to show you why I think that that's probably too much. And if you're thinking about buying one, and you're thinking about buying one in an auction, I want you to rethink uh, how much you're going to pay for this. And so let me let me kind of show you some things about the mulcher first, and then I'm going to get more into the price. So here is here's a typical uh, Ritchie Brothers site talking about this Top Cat uh, mulcher. It's the Top Cap. Cat SSFM is the drum mulcher. Uh, some of the things you'll see, you'll see they have they sell these. Uh, I don't know. I, I suspect they probably sell um, 50 of these a month, and and the prices go anywhere from I don't know six thousand dollars to eighteen thousand dollars. Now, granted, if you find one and you get one for six, that's probably a pretty good deal. Uh, the, keep it in mind that when you buy off auction, you don't get a warranty and you don't get any support, you're pretty much on your own. So you want to make sure you've saved enough by buying it at auction that you can cover all the other costs because there are going to be some costs. And if you've seen my other videos, you know some of my concerns about this particular brand of mulcher. Uh, you know my concerns about the teeth, which we seem to be solving. But that's, uh, that's a different video. So um, here's the Ritchie Brothers site. You'll see this here, and I'm going to, I'm going to knock out a couple of my pet peeves about this because you'll see this all over the web. Uh, here they show it, uh, the uh, SSF M81, and that makes sense. M81 must be an 81-inch uh, mulcher. Well, it isn't an 81-inch mulcher in the sense that it does not have an 81-inch cutting path. It's more like 60 inches. Now, if you come down here, you'll see this one, the, the SSF M81, as a 62-inch mulcher, mulcher. Sir, folks, hey, guys, this mulcher and this mulcher, are exactly the same. Uh, it is closer to a 60-inch mulcher. It is not an 81-inch mulcher. The other thing I wanted to point out is if you go in and take a look, if you're looking at these, if they got clear enough pictures, and you can uh, kind of zoom in on them. Let's, let's kind of go in here a little bit. Uh, you'll see uh, they'll have some of them have the Top Cat um, mulcher tag on them. Okay, They look pretty current. Uh, says it was manufactured in 2022, and that's probably accurate based on what I've discovered from mine. That date was pretty close to the manufacturing date of the products that are inside the unit. But here's what I wanted to point out. So some of these you'll see this uh, little blue poster sign on the side. It says it's Agrotech, Agro-TK. And down here it says Tiller King. Well, Agro-TK and Tiller King all will lead you back to AGT Industrial. And that's this site right here, All right? And this mulcher, I've looked at the specs, I've looked at the pictures, the diagrams. This is the Top Cat mulcher. Uh, this is the Agrotech mulcher. This is the mulcher that says it's Tiller King. Uh, it says 81 inch skid mulcher, but it only has a 60 inch path. It's got 13 rows of teeth. Uh, you'll notice uh, that in some of my videos, I talk about the spacing of the teeth. So it's not exactly the most awesome mulcher on the planet. But look here. It's just under $13,000. You can buy it new with a warranty, with support from AGT for $13,000. So for, for whatever it's worth, don't be paying $18,000 for this mulcher on, a, on an auction. It is not worth that. There are other mulchers that look similar to this that actually have some upside to them. They're, they're their drums slightly uh, designed differently, which gives you better cutting. Uh, for example, here at TMG, uh, TMG Industrial has one. This is effectively the same components as Top Cat, but the drum layout of the teeth, these teeth are staggered. They're in more of a barber pole layout. In other words, these gaps in here are covered. See how this tooth is offset and this one's offset? And I've talked to the folks at TMG and confirmed that that is the layout of the teeth. 
Now, granted, this is 25,000 versus 13,000. So uh, you can get the job done with this one. Uh, it just requires a lot more processing because of the gap in the teeth. You have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, trying to get the spots that were missed by the gap. But still, if you're out on these bid sites, okay, and you're looking um, to bid on one of these uh, mulchers, man, rethink that pricing. Don't get caught up in the bid process and get carried away unless you just somehow feel you have to have that sucker, you have to have it now, and you want to go pick it up when you're done. Also, if you're thinking you want to buy one of these, here's what I've noticed, that the Ritchie Brother auctions that happen in Denver, when these mulchers go on auction in Denver, Denver consistently has the lowest sold price, typically around $6,000 to $7,000. I've even seen one go for $4,200. Uh, if you go to Orlando, you go to Houston, uh, those prices will be in the 8 9 10 11 12 even as high as 18 So just if you're out looking, you think you want to buy one from an auction, keep it in mind, no warranty, no support. You're on your own. All right. So that's, uh, that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to point out. If you're going to buy one, for heaven's sakes, be careful how much you decide to pay because you could be paying way too much. All right, so thanks for, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have a moment and you're interested in the top cat or you bought one or you're thinking about buying one, uh, take a moment, check out my other videos, and please send me comments, updates. If you've had problems and you've solved those problems, if you've needed parts and you've found those parts, hey, man, please share it with us. Uh, that way, all those folks out there like me who now are owners of an awesome top cat can find ways to fix stuff that breaks. Appreciate it, and have a good week.